today is Wednesday, the 23rd of, of October. And uh, yes, it's Wednesday the 23rd, not Tuesday the 23rd. Sorry about that yesterday. Well, we just got our power restored. It was out for 7 30, 8 30, 9 30, 10 30, 11. It was out for four hours. Had the generator running. It's, pretty, it's a nice setup, man. It's the powerhouse. 8.5 kVA runs on diesel. I have it hooked up to the house, wired in. But what I like to do is seven have it like this. I'm gonna run the wire along the ease here. Yeah, it's gonna run down. This is the wiring, electric wiring or electric cable, and we're gonna build. A little shelter right here and uh, I'm gonna put a uh, soundproofing foam and it'll be like permanently you know the wire will be permanently there all I gotta do is go and turn it on start the generator we're good to go but I found out when I ran that 2.5 horsepower aircon in the living room Diesel ran, sucked up energy, sucked up energy, sucked power, man. It was a, it was an electrical vacuum, <laughs> I guess you would say. We didn't want, we didn't run the uh, aircon, of course. We're not, we haven't ran it in a, what, going on a week now. And right now, I still got four hours, and I still got right at three quarters of a tank of fuel. Now I'm gonna leave it set up. Just in case the power goes out, what it is is we're under a high wind advisory. So we might, what they do here, man, when they get they get uh, notifications like that, the power company will shut down power for safety reasons. I get it. So if the wind starts picking up again, we might lose power again. I'll just kick on the generator. Yeah, she ran good. She runs good. She's loud, though. And that's why I want to put it in an enclosure. And also I can get a silencer from Japan that I can hook up to the exhaust. And it has a silencer on it. I don't want to be tearing apart the exhaust on this. I just want to add the extension on there. And it'll work, it'll work good. Yeah, this works good, man. I got no complaints. No complaints whatsoever. There it is right there in all its glory. See, anytime I shut it down, see this is for the fuel cutoff. Anytime I shut it down, I always shut this, close this, so fuel don't, fuel don't run into the engine, you know? And it doesn't gel. Now usually, they say you should run it, run it um, if, you, if you have it stored away somewhere, you should run your generator at least 30 minutes a month. So what I do is once a week I come out, I pull it out, no, no load on it, and I'll start it, I let it run for about 10, 10, 15 minutes a week. That helps with the fuel, and also helps with the battery. Been working so far, it starts right up. Everybody's just chilling out, you got miles. She's taking her nap. Got the dogs inside the room because the air con. We're out of rice, so I'm cooking some rice. Let's go see how the pups are doing. Oh yeah, also, since it was, it was raining, it was raining pretty bad this morning. So I broke out the treadmill. Got on a treadmill for 30 minutes. Hey, Muck. Yo, man. You doing all right, man? No? Okay. You wanna go out? You wanna go out, meme? I'll open up the door, let them. If they wanna go out, they can go out. It ain't raining. Yeah, it's quiet, man. It's real quiet today. 
real, real quiet. Yeah, so that's the generator. Works for me. I can run the air con. I, when I was in the office, I turned the uh, 1.5 horsepower LG air con on. It was kind of hot in there. I really don't like the idea of opening these windows. Security reasons, if you know what I mean. That Met Aircon was running pretty good, man. It wasn't it wasn't stressed out, you know. What's up, bud? You doing alright? Alright man, I'll talk to you in a little while. Well it's what? 1450? The lights are still on. We haven't lost our power again. And I was really surprised because like now, this is how the winds were when the power went off. And now not that bad. But I guess they got some got information. And they just they shut the power off. You think that's why they shut it off because of the winds? Miles? The, the, that is the warning. Yeah, I think that's why they did it, because like I said, just for safety reasons, they said nope, clip, and they 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 hit that big breaker. Which is fine. I mean I can understand, you know, because, safety reasons. Because the the worst worst weather will be arrived tonight. Tonight, how do you know? The I am Oh you saw it on the news? Looking right. for the I am traveling the yeah, leftovers tonight. Yeah, Miles made this. What do you call it? What you made last night? Apritada. Who? Apritada. Apritada? Yeah. Apritada. Pretty good, man. We got Miles cooks, man. She makes, she makes, she cooks, you know, to go into another meal. Which is fine with me, and like I, I have said so many times in the past, you know, it's I could care less if I eat something one or two or three days in a row, it's, you know, just to keep that feeling from not eating. Yeah, it's got chicken, potatoes, carrots, onions, basil. That's good enough for a meal for the both of us. I think it'll work. No, I'm not going to stick it in the refrigerator this time. But, uh, made us some rice. Yeah, we go through a lot of rice, man. Made some rice. Well, you got to keep a member. You got to keep a member. <laughs> you got to keep in mind that, uh, Miles eats rice every day. Sometimes two, sometimes three, sometimes one time a day. And the children eat rice, don't you, Muck? He's a good Filipino dog. Right? <coughs> you all right, buddy? Yeah, Muck, Muck really hates the rain. I don't think anybody else. So it's supposed to get worse tonight? Yeah. How worse? They, it says that number four. Right. It's not. Tonight will be landfall in central, central, uh, northern Luzon. That means Isabella and Cagayan. And the, the trap is early in the morning or tomorrow morning. But in Manila, already flooded. So, do you think that I should just leave that extension cord I got going over the next door neighbors? Just leave it there. I put the I put the generator away. But the extension cord going over to their house, just leave it there. It's still there? Yeah, I told them that I just, just, I said, just in case the power goes out again, I'll just turn on the journey. You got power. Now, the reason I did it, man, they're really good people. And plus, okay, this is the way I am. I'm a firm believer in karma. 
When Miles fell, had her accident, she fell and she broke her wrist and elbow, okay? You had some people just standing around staring like, okay, which is, people do that. But he ran, ran over, see what was going on, jumped on his motorcycle and got us a tricycle to get, and the tricycle driver <laughs> drove us all the way to the hospital, which is only like five, 10 minutes away going south into uh, a local surf. But you remember them things, you know? You remember them things, and that's why, you know, I don't mind doing it. Matter of fact, I was planning on when I do build that structure, some way or another, I'll have a line going over to them where they just, you know, anytime they, you know, anytime we have a brownout and I turn that generator on, they got power. And so we don't have to have a cord extension. Well, it's, not, it's, it's a heavy duty extension cord. It's a long one. It's like 50 or 100 feet long. You know, just so, because like I said, man, I believe in, you know, you do good things to people, they're going to do th good things in return. Isn't that right, Miles? Mm -hmm. And stuff like that sticks in my memory, you know? Stuff like that sticks in my mind. I'm pretty sure you all would do the same thing, you know? But like I said, man, we're not using, you know that generator didn't use that much gas? It only used a quarter of a tank. You know why? We weren't running that. That eats up electricity, the big uh, two point, you know, the big hail pond. No more. No more what? Uh, oh, I got three quarters of a tank. It's almost full. You know me, I keep an eye on it. Yeah, just tell them we'll leave the extension going across just in case tomorrow morning if that storm does hit here. The storm does hit here, also we got, you know, we got the generator. I said, I don't mind, man. Good people. You reward good people when they do good things. Right, Miles? And you ignore the and you ignore the assholes. Right, Miles? <laughs> hey man. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this video out today. There ain't much going on. No. We'll eat, then we go to the room. Miles falls asleep. I watch a little bit of uh Grey's Anatomy. Oh, the bus going to Cagayan already stranded me. To that, that, left, that mountain. Going through the mountain? I would not. Doing this kind of weather, man, yeah, you have to go through the mountains going north for miles to go, go to a, you know, the town that she grew up in, in Assam. Mm -hmm. You have to go through these mountains that are very prone for landslides. Yeah, see, I don't know if you can see it, but traffic stop going through them mountains I wouldn't go through them man even on a I would not go through it not in this kind of weather when it's dry season yes rainy season no they have landslides every year don't they yeah every year they have a land and I feel sorry for the workers man they'll clean it up you know and then a couple weeks later another landslide it's sad I feel for him, man. All right, man, so I'll go ahead and close this video out, like I said. And uh, if you got this far, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. Bye for now.